So I'm gonna be, you know, getting into it. Before I get into it, though, I'm gonna let y'all know this, though. When it comes to getting something done, you gotta be the person to do it. Cause if not, it's not gonna be done. You can maybe inspire. Look, you still was the person to do it. You can inspire somebody to do it for you. Like if you was doing it and you couldn't fully get it done, but you know your mind inspired somebody who could, you know, finish it. And then you know that's how you got it done. Just know you gotta do it though. So you know. But today we're gonna be explaining how to actually do hard work smartly for smart people for you know if you're intelligent um you know if you if you use integrity so look the first tip on this bitch you know i'm doing up deuces because it looked like one so i put it like this you know so look break down the task into smaller more manageable steps so you know i already spoke about this in my other videos but it's really true like break it down into okay this is that do it right now boom, 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 boom. go to the next thing like complete your task in the smallest possible way that you can and take your time with it and you know that's how you can do hard work for you know one but i'm gonna give you some more ways and you know make it brief and easy for you to understand though but like for example though so say that you gotta uh you gotta you got a workout schedule and you know you want to do a thousand push-ups a day so um You've been working out uh, for like you know two months straight, so push up ain't nothing to you. So boom, you be you be doing uh a hum uh three hundred in the morning, then you do uh another three hundred in like the the afternoonish like three ish right, and then you do another three hundred at like. Uh, eight o'clock nine ish and then after that you do a hundred before you go to bed and then boom you did that a thousand you broke it down throughout the whole day so you know th that's just an example for you if you like to work out but you will also put it in you know if you gotta uh do some like goals you gotta talk to some people you talk to this person for this amount of much time and then you go Talk to this person for this amount of much time, and then you know, keep breaking it down into you know everything is sorted out and more organized for you to do it more efficiently. I right, the second thing, set specific measurable goals for yourself. Like get goals that is meaningful, that is actually something that you can do, that's realistic, and not something that's like they say shoot for the moons. Okay, shoot for a moon that you know you even if it go past the moon, you still know you shot through the you shot the moon like. You hit the moon like you ain't you ain't go past the moon. You hit exactly where the moon was at. So when you hit exactly where the moon was at, like it actually went through the moon. So like you know what you was doing. So there's no set a specific measurement of goals. Like it don't have to just be a hundred goals. It could be two hundred goals. It could be it could be five goals, and you can just get those goals and keep working from there. Or it could be you know five hundred goals, and you can just do it from there. But the third set of prioritize your task. Okay. Prioritize your task, okay? And focus on the most important. If you focus on what's important, that one is gonna help you complete it much more efficient. But you have to keep it keep in touch with, you know, um your prioritizing skills. Cause if you prioritize what's for you, your value is what's going to, you know, see you see more of. But um four tip eliminate distractions and create conductive work environment so this could mean you know just get away from anything that could get you out of the groove and you know put you in a position where you are actually you know into your environment like you you are you know you got you got this environment that it knows like when you come in it it's go time it's you know, ain't no ain't no ain't no play mode and then the fifth one take breaks when needed to avoid a burnout because if you you know you don't take a break you won't be able to maintain your productivity the goal is to maintain your productivity to keep consistent of your productivity so you have to you know actually take breaks when needed and so if you if you if you don't you're gonna get burnt out and burnt out what that means is you get so tired that you can't even do get back up probably for a whole two weeks like it probably it'll bring you down put you out but yeah you know 
that's how to do hard work. And, like, look, if you need any help, though, you can ask me. Just leave it in the comments. We can get it rocking, rolling. Ski, low ski out, low key out. Loki said peace. Loki said be safe. Keep a smile on your face for me.